Hello and welcome to another YouTube video. We are back inside of AnyType and today I am going to show you how the calendar works inside of this. But in order to do that we first have to make ourselves a task database or a task, uh, a task set. I always seem to forget the name. But let's make a task set like this and here is the task set. I, uh, this is my YouTube test space so I don't have a lot of things inside of here. But we want a due date here uh, and we need the due date in order to, uh, to use the calendar properly. Let's say we want this done by the 28th of uh, December and this by the 24th. It's Christmas. Anyways, uh, this will be called tasks DB and we need to create ourselves a new a new view and you can easily do that by going here plus uh, pressing the plus and changing the layout to a calendar. As you can see it is now grouped by la last modified day but I want this to be grouped by due date. You can also choose last open date, creation date, or whatever you want to, but I want it to be grouped by due date. So the way the grouping here works is actually quite simple. Every date relation, which is a property like this one, every date relation you create inside of here, will be shown whenever you go into the calendar to change up the view. So when you go to settings, layout, everything will show up here. Let me just add another um, one just to show you how this work. We will call this start date. This would be good for my projects actually. Uh, and date create like that uh, and let's say this started then and this started then. Uh, let's jump back into here, uh, calendar and we can change it to start date. Um, when did I actually put the start dates to? Uh, let's put them to like this and they should show up here as they are, both of them are showing up here. So that's basically how calendars work inside of any type. You could use this for tasks, for projects, or even in my case for a social media calendar. The any type team has done a great job uh, this year, hats off to them, and I'm really excited to see how this keeps developing. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you haven't done so already, please do subscribe. And if you're looking for more AnyType content, I have a whole playlist on my channel for you to watch.